Hi, Madeline. Can you see me? Do you recognize me? Am I convincing? As you, I mean. Because when you do ask, I have to say you're pretty hopeless. For example, that's not actually the sound we make. And then you often make us black and white and striped. There is no such thing as a black and white striped bee. And you never get our hair right. But never mind. You try. I'm trying. So, am I a convincing human? <laughs> the look of me, I mean. We'll get to the humanity of me later. I've studied you, like any good actor preparing a role. Your movement, your speech. Do I sound like you? More or less? <laughs> Anyway, you don't all sound the same, just as we don't. <laughs> as long as I'm sounding more or less human, I'm happy. Am I? I mean, sounding more or less human? I'm not asking if I'm happy, that seems very complicated as a human. But now I need some help. What you call acting note on being human, so that I can convincingly be you. Some things I still don't understand. I know that as well as looking more or less alike, you're all different. The way we're all different. Although, from the way you portray us, I don't think you know much about us. Let me explain. There are bees who live in hives, sort of like your apartment blocks, and produce honey, a bit like a factory or office workers. And there are solitary bee bees who are a bit more individualistic and live in gardens and hedges and nest underground. But basically, all of us, honey, bumble, mason, mining, carpenter, hairy-footed, morning, sweat, squash, blueberry, leaf cutter, or longhorned, pollinate everything. Which means that as we go about our business, the planet keeps going and it's healthy. I could tell you a lot more, but that's not my purpose, since I'm you. The thing is, I can't figure out exactly what you do. That is, how you keep the planet going, which is what every living thing does. For example, as a bee, I look for flowers. So I fly with a purpose, I search, I hover, I spot a flower, I land on it, and then I have a kind of dialogue. It might have been sprayed with a chemical, so it tells me immediately not to stay there. It could hurt me. I quickly go to another flower. On that one, there could have been another bee just before me, so it tells me, sorry mate, you're too late. And then eventually, I find a flower and it's a good one, and I stay there, and I collect whatever it has to give me. And as I do this, I spread a little pollen around so it's happy because that'll make more flowers. The exact way living things reproduce is complex and I won't go into it. Whereas I've noticed that you humans do sex pretty simply. No, I'm not going to act human sex right now. Maybe another time. Okay, here I am, a human. Yes, now I move. You seem to have a lot of ways of moving, sometimes with your long legs and sometimes with your short legs and sometimes without legs in rolling boxes. I'm going to try legs. So, I move. But I seem to have no direction. There's a good flower right in front of me, but I don't see it. Instead, I go for that one over there. It tells me it's full of chemicals and dangerous, but I absolutely insist on feeding from it because it's more showy. Why don't I, a human, know what's good for me? And sometimes I see a bee, I mean a human, and I try to push it off. That's how you do threats, yes? But why? And sometimes I sort of whiz about here and there for no reason. I think you call it exercise? Jogging? You go in a straight line and miss all the flowers? And sometimes you pile into one of your moving boxes with your short legs at right angles. 
like this, I think. Have I got it right? What are you looking for from those boxes? I think you call it motivation. I'm really trying to get into my human character, but there seems to be a lack of consistency. Or is there something I'm not getting? Here I am doing actions, but I can't find their intention. No, something else. When you see me as a bee, that is, when I'm not moving, I'm still. I watch. I'm alert. But you're not moving and you're still twitching. Like this? Maybe it's grooming. We do grooming too. We clean our legs and our antennas. And I don't notice you're much better afterwards. And you haven't spread anything good around you. So I can't see the purpose. Maybe it's evolutionary? Scaring off predators? You seem to be very frightened of something you call boredom. Maybe boredom is one of your worst predators. That's it. I got it. I twitched to scare off my predators. Does it work? But back to purpose. How do you find it? How do you make yourself yourself? I think it's called an objective or a use. Why is it so difficult to find? Acting is hard. Acting human is really, really hard. If I were a bee advising another bee on their purpose or objective, I think you also call it a journey, I'd say look for the flowers. They'll tell you everything. Look for the flowers. What's that in human language? You can use the movement you call walking or the one called being still. With both of you, find plants, good things that nourish you. Maybe you call them thoughts, truths, kindness, something that speaks to you. And then when you've found something good in that flower, you spread it around. Finally, you tell others about it so they can make a beeline for it. If I did that, I'd be a happy human. I imagine it's even more of a challenge to play a happy human than a normal human. But I'm going to try. I'll practice a bit on my own first. It's been very tiring just being human. So I'm going to take a break and be a bee for a while. But thanks for watching. And if you ever want advice on to act like a bee, give me a ring. <laughs>